when I got to Northeastern at, at the age of 29, um, and just had just retired from, from playing in the, in the Canadian Football League, it was the first time I had heard anyone talk about the issue of men's violence against women. For me, it, was, it, it wasn't like there was something that happened to a woman close to me that said, wow, I need to pay attention to this. It was this reality that my privilege as a man came from the oppression of women. And therefore, it wasn't my privilege. And so many things in my life that were privileges that I understood as a man uh, as I walked through this, this world, as a man. including you know, how, how much I benefited from the game of football. That, that is not because of anything that I did, it's because of this history uh, of the game that is steeped in American culture uh, and steeped in American masculinity. And so uh, I had to recognize all those different aspects of that, that impacted my life in a very positive way, but look at what, what was the impact to women in my life or women in general. Uh, and, that's, and that's why it's been important to me ever since.